to the classic superstars of wrestling. I'm Brian Webster, along with a classic superstar of wrestling, the legendary Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Yes, I'm very glad to be here. Y'all gonna see some of the finest matches that have ever been done in the history of professional wrestling. Some of my friends and some of the people that y'all gonna get to know that you don't know. And what a way to kick things off with this special edition, the early days of the career of Steve Austin. And what a match we have chosen for our first matchup, Steve Austin's debut as Stephen Williams, taking on The Punisher, who would go on to be known as The Undertaker. Tony Atlas, let's get you right down to ringside. <laughs> Garvin insists on doing the intros of the Punisher and Skandor Akbar as it's a battle of big men here. The six foot eight Punisher of Devastation Incorporated against the new find of Chris Adams and the USWA Wrestling School, Steve Williams. Nothing against you, Mark, but I just didn't think you would give proper justice to Skandor Akbar and his Punisher. You know, I know sometimes you can be biased. Williams had trouble on an earlier occasion with the Punisher and is anxious to have a better showing here on national television as the bell rings and this bout is underway and here's Akbar over in front of us. I see that you've added a little class to your program, Mark Lorenz. I had nothing to do with it. Fabulous Terrence Garvin. Welcome, Terrence. It's wonderful to see it's good you. Good to see that you're using your head, Mark Lorenz. I had nothing to do with it. It's wonderful to see him. You know, he looks so good. And what a smart man. such disrespect. You see, this raghead business has got out of hand. I've got a legitimate complaint about this. Don't call me Raghead. I'm the Godfather, and don't you forget it, the general. You know, I think some lawsuits are in order. We ought to get your lawyers out in the parking lot and get some of these license plate numbers. Here's Steve Williams with a headlock on the big man, the masked man, the punisher, and Williams is underway in high fashion here in the early parts of this book. Mark, do you actually think this Williams has got a chance against this punisher? Look at him, he's a monster. Hey, I've seen the Cleveland Indians defeat the New York Yankees or vice versa. One team has a bad year, but they always have a shot at winning now and then. Now, come on, this, this guy's not very far out of wrestling school, is he? I mean, I don't know how long he's been, but oh, it's a beautiful back suplex. And that's what I'm talking about. That's experience. Out of a headlock, he comes down with that back suplex. Dustin Rhodes will make his USWA debut next week. He's the son of Dusty Rhodes. We've got a special feature that you're going to see shortly as the Punisher now backs Williams into the ropes. Here he comes, look out! Big clothesline, I'm really thrilled about Dustin Rhodes. Big clothesline, this has got to be it. Drops the leg. One, two, yeah, you can count to 100. Punisher, what'd I tell you? And the winner of the match is the Punisher, the Masked Man. And the winner in two minutes, the Punisher. All right, Tony, many people think that uh, Steve Austin and The Undertaker first wrestled in the WWF, but as the fans just saw, Steve Austin, in his very first matchup, had to face The Undertaker, then known as The Punisher. That's right. You know, a lot of the guys, they, they have to start at the bottom, work their way to the top, and they went through all kind of different organizations and everything, and they are, are wrestle all over the world. You have to wrestle for a long time, build your name, and you just can't do it just being one organization. You got to go to hit several different organizations in order to develop your talent and your ability as a professional wrestler. Well, and to develop he did, did Steve Austin, and uh, he was just about to become Steve Austin, but he still had one final match as Stephen Williams. And here we're going to take a look at Williams as he takes on the medicine man with his trainer, his teacher, his mentor, Chris Adams, on commentary. Apple of the ladies' eye, and we're off to a fine beginning. Well, as you can imagine, Mark, I've got a special interest in Steve. Um, he's against a very experienced opponent here, which obviously is the best way for Steve to break into this business. Now, Steve's only been doing this, remember, from beginner to now, of six months. So I think he's been doing, he's, he's done fantastic. 
As you can see, all the crowd are behind him already. So I think this guy has a great future in the uh, professional professional wrestling. Now, just the other day here on television, uh, things almost got out of hand between you and Eric Embry. Thank goodness those had a happy ending. As you all will be in the tag team main event next week here on USWA Wrestling. Well, you know that Eric and I, I don't know, I think it's Akbar. Akbar's the one behind this. He's the one uh, telling his funk is to say this or do this or do that. You see that? That guy just spat at Steve. That's right, the medicine man, Chris Youngblood, agitated Steve Williams and now is taking advantage in the ring as he drops the back of that knee down on the head. Anyway, back to Eric, you know, uh, Eric and I were made to have our differences. We really didn't. We were blaming each other for causing each other to lose. It was all pre-planned by Skandar Akbar. We're the best of buddies. We've been friends for a long, long time, so everything's really cool now. Down with the knee comes the medicine man, Chris Youngblood, the full-blooded Indian. He's in our first match here. Coming up later, you're gonna see Kevin Von Erich against P.Y. <laughs> with Tojo in his corner, we've got the stud stable against Jeff Jarrett and Matt Bourne, that exciting title rematch main event that you've already seen and heard the reasons for. We've got an interview right after this bout as you enjoy the analysis of gentleman Chris Adams, who's joined us here for this first bout. And what Steve has to do now, Mark, as a uh, beginner in this, he has to gather his bearings and then start to a uniformed plan. He can't just go haywire and hope to catch the guy off guard. He's got to be thinking right now at this point so that he can come up with a plan to weaken Youngblood and also hopefully pin him in the end. Youngblood getting aggravated about the officiating. Chris, you've got the beautiful calendar in front of you. You've got the brochure from the wrestling school with you. Feel free to uh, tell us anything about the things you like. All we hear about the calendar from Terrence is that he's mad that he's not on the cover. Well, he's not on the cover. Um, you know, they call them ginger beers in England. Uh, I'm not sure what they call them here, but I think uh, Tony on the cover is a whole lot better. Oh, good move, Steve. I'm glad that he's certainly had uh, the thought to move on that one. Now he's coming back, and hopefully he's got a plan in where he can do something and pin the guy. Over and down goes Chris Youngblood. Takes it all the way over with a reverse full Nelson. Good. And a pin, one, two, almost. Just like to throw in real quickly, uh, Mark, about the ABC of Professional Wrestling. It's a tape that coincides with the wrestling school. And what it does is it explains not only how to break into the business, it goes into uh, the matches here at the Sportatorium and other places. It shows the actual matches. Then we go back into the studio to show exactly how we do the movements. It's a fantastic deal. I hope Steve moves on this one. Ooh. He did not. Here's the pin. The leg is hooked. One, two, three, and Chris Youngblood is the winner. Chris, I want you to finish your thought on this, but let me make this announcement. All right, so thus far, not a very successful uh, couple of matches for Steve Williams, Tony Atlas. You've right. been there. You know what it was like when yes, you first began. It's yes. a tough one in there. Yes, it is. Like I said, you know, you don't just walk into the ring and become world champion or become a winner. You have to do it by sweat and blood and, and hustle and, and a lot of hard work. And it takes a long time for an athlete to uh, get to the very top of this profession. There. As you can see, Steve learned that. And at the time, Austin felt he had something to prove to his trainer, Chris Adams. So what better way to prove to the teacher than to challenge the man who basically taught him what he knew at the time? Exactly. You know, Chris Adams wrestled all over Europe. He's originally from England. He came here to the United States because you hear that some of the best wrestlers in the world were here in the state. And uh, he came here to uh, challenge a lot of the wrestlers in the state. And Chris Adams made quite a name for himself. Uh, you know, in his earlier days. And he certainly did train Steve Austin with uh, much success. Will Austin teach the teacher something? Let's take you down to ringside. from Steve Austin. He didn't even give Chris time enough to take off his ring jacket. What kind of respect does this Steve Austin have for a man that broke into one of the 
most prestigious sports in the world today. Look at him, just pointing his foot right into his teacher. Mark, I've never seen him like this before. Well, the downfall of a human being is generally his or her own ego. We've seen that throughout the history of humankind, and it certainly is Steve Austin's trouble right now. Well, the teacher is now having his own way as he gets a chance to take off his ring jacket. He knocked the student right to the floor of the world famous photo call. Steve Austin just into the ring long enough to get the count of 20 started again from referee Tony Falk. His USWA excitement is wild here with Adams and Austin. The man's arrogance is unbelievable, Mark. He's, he's so cocky. He struts his aisles like he's been, like he's gorgeous George or something. And he's far from that. Uh-oh. Look who I see coming down the aisle over there. Percy, you're absolutely right. I can, I can smell him a mile off. It's Skandor Akbar. What is he doing down here? Uh, I bet I could guess. You want me to make a guess? I bet he reaches to his pocket. I bet he's got a wad of money or else a foreign object or both. Chris Adams over demanding to know what he's doing down here. Adams about ready to nail him. Adams crawls back up in the ring as he notices Steve Austin heading that way. I'll never forget the last year, Mark, I've had some run-ins with Skandor Akbar. I know how this man operates. I wouldn't trust him. No way. Had no idea he would be down here during this bout. But evidently, he's got his eye on Steve Austin. And I've seen that look before. He knows what he wants. He wants to dominate wrestling, dominate all the professional wrestlers. Austin grabs Chris Adams in the sleeper hole, Mark. Chris Adams locked up by his former student. Adams trained him, taught him, motivated him, helped him personally, put him on television, brought him through the wrestling academy ahead of schedule. And how's this for gratitude? Well, hopefully, gentlemen, Chris is going to teach him another lesson. Show him what, res show him what respect's all about. Uh-oh, here's Raghead over here. Skandor Akbar upset with the ringside patrons you can see in the back of the picture. Those ladies love to bring their own cigars to blow in Akbar's face. He's calling me, that's all right. I'm not getting involved. Tony Fox checking gentleman Chris, but he's still kicking a little bit. He's sitting up. He's holding his hands up to show Fox, and he's still got some fight left. Gentleman's not going to back down. Well, Adams has talked about the need to have wrestling and not fighting. It is a wrestling move in place now with the sleeper. And Chris right down his head. Man's really giving it to Akbar and Steve Austin. That's not a wrestling move. Every time Chris works his way to his feet, Austin snatches his hair back down. That boy is just pacing around. Great move by Adams to drop himself down to the seat of his britches, and that jarred Austin loose. Uh oh, down went the referee. Did Austin kick him when he got turned over on the body slam? Look at that boy smiling. Now he's smiling. Look out! It's Akbar grabbing the foot of Chris Adams as he went into the rope for the leverage. And Steve Austin has got some brass knuckles. Referee Tony Fogg didn't see it. He got knocked down to the canvas and he's still down. Austin misses, gets turned over. The brass knuckles are loose in the ring. Adams sees 
what Austin was trying to do to him. Akbar pointing it out to Tony Falk. He told Tony that they were Christian. Uh-oh. Adams has a temper. He's not going to listen to this. Austin taking advantage. He put it in him. Adams uses the brass knuckles. Uses Austin's brass knuckles on him. And the referee does not know what's happened here and signals to the bell the sound. But Adams doesn't care. Adams is all over his head. Well, right over here over the table, Mark. I'm getting out of the way. Yeah, they're out here on our lap. And Adams is a madman. The Chris Adams temper is exploding here. Tony Fox signal for the bell to sound, but Adams didn't care. He just kept pouring the heat off. Tony didn't see what was going on. He was down in the canvas. That boy told him they belonged to Chris. A test in justice. That taunting Chris Adams a little bit. But you can bet Akbar's gonna get Austin out of here right now. Well, that's the way he operates. Get out of here real quick. Look at him running up the aisle. We'll be back to all USWA wrestling inside. All right, Tony, we gotta batten down the hatches for this one. It's an eight-man, tough man matchup featuring Steve Austin. Thank you, Brian and Tony. Now listen, let me try to help you out here a little bit and give you some of the rules on this tough man, eight-man Texas tornado match. Here's the rule. If one man on either team gets pinned, that team who pins that man gets to choose one man from the opposition, and that man has to go in the ring with the four men on the opposite team and he has to last for one minute, which means if he doesn't get to his feet within that, after that one minute expires, they lose the match. This is gonna be crazy. This is Steve Austin in his early years. He did everything. Let's go to ringside. Eric Embry ready for some of Akbar and Gary Young. Jeff Jarrett wants some of Jeff Gaylord. Percy Pringle wants some of Akbar. Dundee wants some of Steve Austin. And we roll on with this first ever type of bout right here with the USWA. And chatting to flamboyant Eric Embry, wanting him to be the first man, the first legal man from his team. Bill Dundee opening up against gorgeous Gary Young. Jarrett, Pringle, Embry, and Dundee on one team. Young, Gaylord, Akbar, and Austin on the other. Listen to this huge crowd on hand of the Sportatorium. Giving gorgeous Gary Fitz, but look out, Dundee's got him from behind. Look at this, look at gorgeous Gary really getting wound up, big knee lift. Eric Henry knocked into the rope. Kimber with a quick reversal. He's taking Eric Kimber down. One, two, three. Uh -oh. And now we get to see what happens here. They get to gang up on who? Who are they going to pick? Who are they going to pick here? A collaboration to see who they pick. Fans want Akbar. 
smoking his cigar. And the gang up has begun. Four on one, the gang up on Jeff Gator, the Missouri Tiger. Look at this four on one gang up on the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord. They're all getting some. Thirty seconds gone, thirty seconds remaining in the gang up. And they're all over Gaylord, the so-called tough man. He's fighting back best he can, but one on four, he's taking a lot of punishment. Fifteen seconds. All right, I'm going to count the crowd down from five. Back away, Gaylord has the count of 10 to get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's back up on his feet, and we start again. And it starts all over again right now. Looks like Eric Henry wants Skandor Akbar. Here comes the tag for Jeff Jarrett. Jared on stunning Steve Austin, and look at him go. Arm bar by stunning Steve Austin on Jeff Jarrett in this fabulous Texas Tornado Tough Man event. Jeff Gaylord ganged up on first turn at the next time. Austin's got hair. Jared throws him off anyway. Coming back, look out! The referee stands, it's Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Gaylord. Concept in about hey. right here with the USWA, and the fans still want to see Emory and Akbar get at it. Akbar throwing his cigar across the ring. Gary Young and Jared getting rough. Jared charging. Gary Young flying bear. Here's the pin, one, and that's all. The referee stance, Dundee's back around into the enemy corner. We may have an early gang up here. Looks to me like Austin is holding on while Gaylord distracts the referee. Here 
Let's see if Akbar can get up. There's five, six, seven. They won't let him interfere. Akbar did not make it. And this has been one of the greatest, most fun bouts I have ever seen. And I hope to see more of the tornado. All right, many people think that the one match between Chris Adams and uh, Steve Austin was the end, but really, Tony, it was just the beginning of a yeah. long and painful war. Yes, it was. You know, like I said, when you first start off in this, you know, it, you may think it's over in one night, but you got to do it again the next night, the next night, and then sometime the following year, you find yourself faced with the same uh, challenge. And when Austin felt he had something to prove, perhaps by the end of that first contest with his teacher, maybe he felt like he wanted to uh, dole out more punishment, as we may see in this next match. As Jeannie makes her way into the ring, the music of Chris Adams goes through the sportatorium and there's a man who really is in love with himself. Coming Steve Osborne in his new ring robe, which he alleges the genie made for him. And here's Tony with gentleman Chris Adams. And look at the look in Tony's eyes. Tony's ready for action. The question is, is Genie? Apparently so. Genie and Tony getting into it again until Steve Austin throws Tony across the ring. Now Austin trying to protect Genie, but no protection for Mr. Austin. Matchmaker John Brazell asking for the microphone. Hey, hey that's enough. Get it back. Hey, hey break it up. Break it up. Break it up. I've warned y'all. I've warned y'all before. I've tried to warn No it. outside interference. I've warned you before. I'm going to have to ban you all from this auditorium. I've warned you before. I'm going to have to bar you all from this auditorium. We set the rule. Huh? Wait, so I told you. You can't bar us. We've got a match here. Hey, hey. And Tony. Hey, hey. I don't care what Break you it say. Up. I've got unfinished business. Hey. And hey. Again, Austin tosses. We're not going to have this match back. unless these ladies are in a bat. No outside interference. John I'm going to have to bar you all from this auditorium. Talking about barring Keep the back, ladies Steve. from the sportatorium. This match was signed for Gene to be in one corner and Tony to be in the other, and I think they should stay. The fans agree with the Jeff, I got no choice. I told you, no outside interference. I don't have any choice about the matter. Keep her back. So what you're saying is that the girls have to go to the back, otherwise we're banned from the USWA. Huh? That's it exactly. They have to go back or we're not going to have this match. That's it. That's the rule. That's Talking that. about banning everyone from the USWA if they don't concur. And now Chris with some words for Tony. Yes, stunning what Steve confers with Jeannie. Tony, I can't help it. She's got to go. Vehemently opposed to this situation. She's got to go. Jeannie seems quite calm. All right, all right. All right. And apparently, right. the ladies will depart. Tony Adams wants at Jeannie in the worst way, and Jeannie 
blows a kiss as she says goodbye up the aisle. Meanwhile, in the ring, Tony quite upset. And Tony will, according to referee Tony Fall, be going to the back shortly, although she doesn't want to do it. Tony making her exit with a statement, wanting to make short work of stunning Steve Austin without the interference of Jeannie. Adams, the leg sweep as he kicks the leg out from underneath, stunning Steve Austin. And now Adams sets up Austin for the suplex. He's got it locked in, high elevation, and down to the mat. Gentlemen, Chris Adams, sick of the interference of Jeannie, the only person more sick of that interference, his wife, Tony. The fans are ready calling for the super kick. Austin takes the ride. And now Adams, as the fans count him out. Series of 10 punches, and Austin gets a super kick to the gut. Austin keeled over. And now Adams locks up Austin in the ropes. It's payback time for the gentleman. Austin is helpless. And Adams with the payback punch. Make it two time. Austin can't get loose. And that's a kick worthy of World Cup status. Adams goes over the top rope. Austin got out of the way. Adams luckily catching himself, keeping himself from flying onto the hardwood floor. Austin tells Tony Falk to get out of the way and delivers a big right hand. Stunning Steve Austin. I got him. Now taking the upper hand. I got you. Austin sets him up for the right, measures and nails it. The intensity of stunning Steve Austin having to work solo here without the help of Jeannie. He sends Alex to the rope and gets the clothesline. Reminiscent of his football days of old, where he probably delivered a few of those. To the top rope goes stunning Steve Austin, swooping over his play. He goes to the air, but Adams is out of the way. Stunning Steve Austin went to the well one too many times, and now it's Adams to the top rope. Adams goes up and nails Steve Austin. There's one, there's two, there's three. And Jeannie has just pulled the chair out from underneath me. She throws the chair in, but it goes right to Chris Adams. But Austin pounds on Adams before he can get to the chair. And now stunning Steve Austin.
to the back. Oh. Jimmy now hitting Chris Adams. This is too much. Jeannie just having her way. And now, stunning Steve Austin and Jeannie make their way up the aisle. While Captain Marin, Tony, and Chris Adams are... All right, Tony, so that kendo stick did not discriminate as it came pounding down on the back of Chris Adams' wife, Tony. That's right. You know, in, in, the, in professional wrestling, you get hit with sticks, chairs, chain, even your other opponent, you know, but, but it's all part of the game. No pain, no gain, baby. Well, if you thought that Adams and his wife would just sit back and take the punishment, you thought wrong, because now it's a mixed tag team match. This is going to be interesting, Tony. Yes, it is. On the one side, you've got Steve Austin and, of course, Jeannie Clark. Right. And on the other side, the husband and wife combination of Chris and Tony Adams. It's going to be a real uh, barn Doozy. burner. Yes, yes. sir. Rebound. All right, yes, let's, get, let's get down to ringside. <laughs> Right here now, I'm telling you, I'm the referee, I'm the boss, and we're gonna start this match the way it's supposed to. It's all the Adams family's fault. With all this action before the match, it's just a taste of what will happen during the match. And there goes Tony after Jeannie. Tony wants to start the match for her team. USWA Challenge. And there you see Tony awaiting Jimmy. Stunning Steve looks like he will start for his team against gentleman Chris Adams. And after Austin took the punishment before the match, it's Austin doling out the punishment during the match. But he misses with a close line. Gentlemen, Chris Adams kicking him in the stomach. He's holding him up right against those ropes that look like he's choking him. I don't call that a gentleman, Craig Johnson. Hold his hair. A direct violation of the rules. Chris Adams has one thing on his mind. Revenge. It's time to catapult right into your living room. People hollering about, they're up on their feet, they're standing in their chairs. Stunning Steve Austin, a native of Dallas, Texas, here in the Dallas Sportatorium, is wondering where he is and may wish he was somewhere else. Comes off the rope, gentlemen, Chris Adams catches him with that flying clothesline. Husband, gentleman Chris Adams, setting up stunning Steve for the pile driver. As Tony looks on, he gets him up, but no backdrop by stunning Steve Austin on the reversal. It looks like the students one step ahead of the teacher there. That backfired. The roundhouse right once, twice by stunning Steve Austin. The second floor is Chris. The fans are vociferous here at the Sportatorium. Side suplex, one, two, but that's all. What's so good about the Adams family? 
family. These people just love them to death, and I don't understand why. They don't do nothing for me at all. Do nothing for me whatsoever. There's Jeannie as she looks on. Her man has the advantage, stunning Steve Austin with that rear chin lock. Almost a sleeper by stunning Steve Austin. Look at the face on that woman. She belongs at home doing dishes, don't she? Come on, tell the truth. That is an intense look of a woman ready for battle. As Adams powers out of the hold, Adams has the leverage, trying to pull over. And hey, before, hey, 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 before, Chris Adams pulled hair. Before Austin was able to. Chris Adams pulled hair, man. And the sleeper, he's got it locked in. If stunning Steve Austin is put to sleep, Jeannie will be left helpless. Wait a minute, here comes Tony Adams after Judy came in trying to interfere, and once again, she does. Tony Fox putting her out. Steve Austin got the gentleman back in the sleeper, and down he goes to the canvas. Stunning Steve Austin with a rear chin lock on gentleman Chris Adams. As it's Jeannie joining her man, stunning Steve Austin, in a mixed tag team bout against gentleman Chris Adams and that woman there, Tony Adams. Once again, Adams tries to power out of the rear chin lock. He's got the leverage, but Austin used the hair. Yeah, you saw the hair that time, Craig Johnson, but you didn't see it a few minutes ago when that so-called gentleman grabbed the golden locks of stunning Steve Austin. Wait a minute, Tony Adams is on the floor, running around the ring. What is she doing? They're slipping and sliding all over the floor of this auditorium, and around they go for the second lap around the ring. Jeannie jumps up onto the ring apron. Tony Fox warning Tony Adams. That woman ain't got no business in the ring. She's got as much business in the ring as Chris Von Eric does. What business does Jeannie have in the ring? You tell me that. Jeannie's a professional, look at her. She's a gorgeous woman, absolutely beautiful. But oh so dangerous. Chris Adams trying to power out. And gets the elbow into the midsection. He gets another elbow, breaks the hold. Gentleman Chris Adams to the right. Fans calling for the super kick, and it's a clothesline by stunning Steve Austin. I don't think you're going to see a super kick as Steve Austin tags a <laughs> lovely Miss Jeannie right on top of the gentleman. Just choking gentleman Chris Adams. But it's Adams picking up his ex-wife. Adams holding her. She's not going anywhere. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, as Jeannie is getting tied up in He's the He's tying her in the ropes, man. That's no gentleman. I don't call that a gentleman at all. Austin tries to save Jeannie, but These Austin people are going flies out. her way out of the ropes. Remember, oh, Tony, right yeah. section. those ribs have been injured. There's no use of trying to describe this action. It speaks for itself. A tag to stunning Steve Austin. Here he comes. A tag to the gentleman. Here they go. Tip 
complexity. Unbelievable. Look at Adams coming up off the apron. Right down on top of stunning Steve Austin. Gentlemen, Chris Adams. As Genie looks worried. Oh, make a wish. Tony's loving it. Gentlemen, Chris throws Stunning Steve back to the ring. Tony Falls warning him. 20 count on the floor. And now, he's rolling them over. Boston Crab. There the women are. There go the ladies. They're rolling out over here towards oh. us. Let me get out of the way. do hope you have enjoyed the classic superstars of wrestling here on Action Pay-Per-View. Brian Webster along with the unmistakable legendary Mr. USA Tony Atlas. See you next time, right here on the Classic Superstars of Wrestling.